we've added on to our solar array. I'll show you how we did it in this video. Here's my sketches. We're adding three more panels in series for a fourth string to add to our Midnight Solar MPPT charge controller, Classic 150. There's all of our supplies that we need there, wood and tin and whatnot. But first, we have to dig the footings for the new 6 by 6s after work late in the evening with my little helper running about. We've got our two holes dug for the footings, centered up on the string lines. It's getting late, so we're going to call it a day, pour the footings tomorrow. All right, getting ready to mount these anchor bolts and plates for the six by sixes. You got it. The anchors and how they'll be. I wasn't able to record the uh, pouring the concrete because it was late and it was getting dark on me. There's the wood for all the, the new addition. But first, I have to knock in this ground rod before I get going while I got out everything out in the open. There's my 6x6, I had to notch out for the 2x10x10 by 10 by 10 cross beams. This is how I notched it out, one and a half inches deep. I just used my skill saw and um, cut grooves in, in there so I could chisel out and uh, sand it down for a good notch to mount the um, cross beams. Now I'm ready to mount the 6 by 6s and I've got my braces ready and I'm, so I get it mounted onto the uh, anchor. Get it level. And just brace it up. Then I do the same thing to the front, six by six, which is a lot lighter. I use three and a half inch decking screws to fasten all the wood together. Now I'm ready to mount the two by 10 by 10 cross beams. Same thing to the front. Now it's time to do the, I guess you'd call them solar joist. There are two by sixes by tens. I'm spacing them about 22 inches apart. Now it's time to mount the 2x4 by, by 10 foot long 2x4s. Doubled up, strengthens the structure and to add the uh, Pro Solar track mounts 
for the solar panels. Then all that's left is the bracing. Get that up and we're done. We now have three new 230 watt solar panels.